Hi, in this video we're given a right angle triangle and we're told that the height of it is root 5 minus 2. Now apologies I've just written in that way but I just wanted to not to be too confusing because the way it's printed it would say something like root 5 minus 2. You've got to be a little bit careful about how close this square root sign is to the minus 2. So I just thought I would type it and also I'm using a particular program that's not great at, uh, at drawing roots. So this one is exactly the same. This is root 5 plus to. And we're asked two questions about this triangle. The first thing is we're asked to work out the area and then in part B we're asked to work out the length AC. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is work out the area of the triangle. Now as I'm sure you appreciate the area of a triangle is just simply a half base times height okay now some people might see that as base times height divided by 2 or something like uh, B times H over 2 that's perfectly fine doesn't make any difference I just happen to do it like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now plug in the information that I've got so the first thing is the base is root 5 plus 2 so I'm going to put that in as a half and then the base is root 5 plus 2 okay and then I'm going to multiply that by the height which is root 5 minus 2 okay so let's just have a look and see how that works out for us so the first thing is I'm going to leave the half in place and I'm going to say root 5 times root 5 well root 5 times root 5 is the same as saying the square root of 25 and the square root of 25 is 5 Okay, the next one is root 5 times minus 2. Well, that's going to be minus 2 root 5. And then I've got, uh, so I've finished with the root 5 and now I've got to deal with this plus 2. So plus 2 times root 5 is plus 2 root 5. And then finally, plus 2 times minus 2, well, that's going to be minus 4. Okay, so hopefully you can see that okay. So let's just then tidy this up a little bit. So I'm going to get a half, and then I've got 5 minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5. Well, actually, those two will cancel themselves out. Okay, so I get left actually with just 5 minus 4. Well, 5 minus 4 is going to be 1. So the answer to my particular question is the area of the triangle is a half of 1, so therefore the area equals 0.5 centimetres squared. And that would answer this particular question. OK, so let's have a look then at the length AC. And what they mean by that is this length along here. Now because it's a right angle triangle we can use Pythagoras theorem to be able to work that out. So let's have a look at the actual formula. So we're going to say that AC squared equals AB squared plus BC squared. Okay if you go back to the actual picture itself you can see here what I've said is it's the AC squared is AB squared plus BC squared and that's normal Pythagoras theorem. If you're not sure about that please do have a look on the channel and there are some playlists with some further examples. So AB squared is going to be the vertical height which is going to be root 5 minus 2 squared and BC squared is going to be root 5 plus 2 squared. OK, so let's now start to kind of expand this a little bit. So what I'm going to get is root 5 minus 2, and that's squared, so it's multiplied by root 5 minus 2, and that's plus, again, root 5 plus 2 times root 5 plus 2 as well. OK, so again, like we did before with our expansion, I'm going to do exactly the same with these two. So I'm just going to move it up the screen a little bit. I'm going to say root 5 times root 5 is root 25. Well, the square root of 25 is 5. So that's going to give me 5. And then I've got minus 2 
root 5 and minus 2 root 5 is minus 4 root 5 and then minus 2 times minus 2 is going to be plus 4. Okay, so that's that expanded to that. Then I've got plus, and again, root 5 times root 5 is root 25, so that's going to be 5. And then I've also got plus 2 root 5, plus 2 root 5 is plus 4 root 5, and 2 times 2 is plus 4. Okay, hopefully that's all right with you. If you're used to expanding double bracketed terms, that should be okay. So let's now remove the actual brackets themselves. And I'm going to have 5 minus 4 root 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 root 5 plus 4. Okay, so let's now gather up the like terms and just make that look a little bit tidier. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, 5 plus 5 is going to be 10, plus 4, plus 4 is going to be 18, okay? Minus 4 root 5, plus 4 root 5, will those two cancel themselves out? So actually, I've got AC squared equals 18. So from that, it means that AC, which is what we're after, is the root of 18. Okay, now that actually would be sufficient to answer the question, but it does say uh, words along the line as leaving your answers in third form where appropriate. So what you might have spotted with this is that the square root of 18 is the same as saying the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. So what I can actually write is, if I prefer, the square root of 9 is 3. So I can say AC equals 3 root 2. Okay, and that would be the answer to this particular question. You might lose a mark if you leave it like that. It just depends very much on the uh, marking scheme. It is correct but sometimes they do want you to simplify it through to that. I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do add a comment. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. Have a look at some of the other uh, videos on the channel. They'll give you a little bit more practice, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.